Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm up at our corner property. My friend Mark let me borrow his log splitter, so I'm going to split up a bunch of rounds that I have up here. It's going to save me a whole lot of time, so thanks Mark. And to save me even more time, I hired a uh, guy from the local woodcutters union, and uh, we'll introduce you to him. Hi, my name is Colton. You may know me from the channel called Colton's Adventures Review. Let's get chopping. Pork chopping. <coughs> Okay, we got a late start again today, but I got my helper back, and it's the next day. We're going to start splitting some wood. Uh, my helper had an excavator job he had to take care of this morning, so he was a little late. So, I was going to ask you, what got you into this business? I can't have the money, I really want money, I need a job, and that is no big. That's basically why I need this job. Okay, it makes sense. Let's get busy. All right, it is the 5th of July, and uh, my little buddy is gone. He's gone back home, my grandson. I cut some more wood today, uh, some more logs just to get some rounds. Some of them are rotten like that stuff. I don't know if it's any good, but just trying to get all this cleaned up. I've got a pile of split wood there, a pile of split wood here, a pile of split wood, a couple of little piles there, and uh, I just put together a pallet kind of just a basic pallet wood storage thing over here I'll show you now this spot over here when I was looking around for a place to store the wood I noticed it was really dry in between these two trees here you got a pretty thick canopy up there so I think this will be the place to stash those piles of wood back here be fairly close proximity to the trailer over here my goal is to just get cleaning this place up up here. There's just stuff everywhere. And uh, the first part of that is getting all these piles of wood picked up. Then I will start gutting this thing. And a lot of them under this pile of rubble here, this mess, there's uh, windows, there's foam insulation, some other uh, plywood, things like that, that I'll be using for this. And... Uh, also, be, I'll be building a shed over here. So, time to stack wood. Missed my little buddy, so Colton. Wish you were here still, buddy, but glad you could come out for a few weeks. And uh, let's get stacking wood.
Okay, I decided to extend that wall before I got any further because it would be pretty tough to get in there and do all that. Now, I just made a two by four frame and put one of the oak slat pallets on the side there. And uh, this whole thing, I haven't filmed making this because it's not a how-to video. It's just me slapping something together with pallets and wood that I've salvaged. All these top uh, boards here, that's all free salvaged wood that I've got. And then I've got a bunch of uh, metal roofing eight footers that I'll throw on top of there, just enough to cover it. So it's all pretty rough, but I just wanted something to put the wood in. And so I'll taper all this up. I'll put something across the back so nobody can pull any wood out of there. And then uh, after I get the roofing and get this thing full, I'll probably screw some boards across the front or something just so it's sealed up for now. So I built this little shed for the rest of the wood and I'm kind of making this one a little more pleasing to the eye since it's kind of in view. The driveway's right there. So still using a lot of scrap stuff. The two by fours I did buy, but all the rest of the wood is stuff that I've gotten uh, from friends and the mill cuts and things like that. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.